This is Seven National News and in our top story. The UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and his accompanying delegation arrived on Tuesday at the Queen Alia International Airport in the Jordanian capital Amman to participate at the 28th Arab Summit. On his arrival, the UAE Vice President was received and welcomed by His Majesty King Abdullah of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. The two-day summit, which is being held at the King Hussein bin Talal Convention Center in the Dead Sea area of Jordan, is expected to discuss a number of issues of importance to the Arab world, including the Palestine situation, the ongoing conflict in Syria and Yemen, and threats of terrorist groups, as well as relations with Iran. Petrol and diesel prices are set to fall in April after the Federal Ministry of Energy released its monthly price update yesterday. Consumers will pay 1 dirhams 95 a litre for Super 98, down 3.9% from March. Special 95 will cost 1 dirhams 84, down 4.2%, and E Plus will cost 1 dirhams 77, down 4.3%. Diesel will cost 1 dirhams 95, down 3.4%. This comes after prices rose in February and March. In March, motorists paid 2 dirhams 3 a litre for Super 98, 1 dirhams 92 for Special 95 and 1 dirhams 85 for E+. Diesel cost 2 dirhams 2. While the fuel price con increases contributed to consumer price inflation in the first part of this year, they are largely driven by increases in crude oil prices, which in other ways strengthen the country's economy. Fuel prices are set by a Ministry of Energy-led committee using benchmark prices that have not been publicly specified. A one metre or more increase in sea level is likely to inundate some parts of Ajman, Sharjah and Umm al Quwain by the end of the century. That's according to a new report. In its UAE Climate Change and Risks and Resilience report, Emirates Wildlife Society, in association with Worldwide Fund, said coastal cities are likely to be at increasing risk from sea level rise, storm surges and associated flooding. Coastal areas house nearly 85% of the population of the UAE, as well as many prestigious properties, including hotels and resorts. The report said that although the implications for the UAE are still very uncertain, a sea level rise of one metre or more by the end of the century is possible, according to global and regional clim climate projections. This would inundate about 8.1% of Ajman, 1.2% of Sharjah and 5.9% of Umm al Quwain. According to the report's authors who added that Fajera and the east coast will be more vulnerable to cyclones and storm surges than the western coast where more industrial facilities are. According to the report, Dubai's urban area has almost tripled in less than two decades between 1984 and 2003, with an artificial expansion of the city's surface thanks to the Palm Islands and the World Archipelago projects making the share of built environment potentially exposed to inundation significant. Similarly, Abu Dhabi is considered vulnerable to sea level rises as the city's major developments and industrial infrastructure are built along the Emirates Islands. The EWS WWF reports also stated that there is also a risk that further urban development could occur close to natural flood plains and wadis, which are areas of natural water collection, as is happening in many countries in the region. And heavy rain, cool temperatures, dust and sandstorms are doubling the number of people seeking medical treatment for respiratory infections and allergic symptoms. Doctors have reported a steep rise in patients complaining of respiratory problems as the poor weather persists. According to the medical professionals quoted in a local report, medical facilities are seeing double the number of patients at the moment. Doctors are warning that anyone working outdoors is also more at risk while the poor weather continues. Allergic rhinitis is one of the major complaints and is caused by allergens such as dust, plant and grass pollens. Fungi as that, travel can, that can travel in sandstorms can cause people to suffer from a runny nose, itchy eyes, sneezy, sneezing and congestion. It can also trigger asthma attacks among people who do not normally suffer them with a growing number of people experiencing symptoms. Sandstorms are also 
are also causing bacterial and viral infections, particularly among those with weaker immune systems such as children and the elderly. Those with immune systems that are compromised through other disorders are also more vulnerable. Research published in the 2014 World Allergy Organization Journal revealed symptoms of allergic rhinitis were, were present in 7% of people in the UAE. Winter was the peak season for those affected, with 71% of patients having environmental triggers that went untreated. Authorities have closed down as many as 141 shawarma outlets for failing to comply with health and safety standards. According to Sultan Ali At-Tahir, the head of the food inspection section in the food safety department at Dubai Municipality, out of the 573 shawarma outlets in Dubai, 425 were found to be compliant with the municipality's hygiene rules, while seven were in the process of applying the requirements. According to the statistics, around 25% of shawarma shops in Dubai were shut down after the municipality recently implemented stringent health and safety requirements. These include the addition of new 29 new conditions for the preparation and sale of shawarma in food establishments such as cafeterias and small restaurants. Food establishments had six months to make the necessary changes. Some of the main problems discovered in shops included not properly storing ingredients, leaving food at, out at high temperatures and not leaving enough space to isolate the ingredients used in the preparation of shawarmas. The 9th edition of the Sharjah Children's Reading Festival will be held between the 19th to the 29th of April at the Expo Centre Sharjah, featuring the participation of many award-winning best-selling children authors, illustrators and publishers, including US author Kawame Alexander and Egyptian actress Hanan Turk. During a press conference, it was announced that Sharjah Children's Reading Festival will feature a lineup of 2,093 events and activities while also bringing close to 123 exhibitors from the region and around the world. One key highlight of the festival, which is being held under the theme Discover Beyond, is the inaugural display of a science exhibition in partnership with the National Museum of Natural History of the United States, which aims to inspire children to think creatively and also explains the evolution of the human brain. The festival will see the participation of 179 guest speakers, including some of the world's most highly regarded children book authors, educational experts and media personalities, such as the New York Times best-selling author Gail Foreman and award-winning children writer Chris Higgins from the UK, who famously authored many books for children in the age group of 9 to 12. It was also announced that this year a host of events are being planned which involve more than 18 Arab and foreign countries, six of which are participating for the first time, including China, Germany, Japan and Morocco. While stating that the 11-day festival is a fun-packed event and entertaining filled festival of discovery, creativity and excitement. Organizers also revealed that other highlights such as the Sharjah exhibition for children's book illustrations and a deep in space program for children will create a conducive environment for children to spark their creativity and innovation. We're trying to improve uh, what uh, the success we did build on last year through the vision of His Highness Sheikh Dr. Sultan Muhammad Al Qasimi or his uh, wife Sheikh Jawahar bint Muhammad Al Qasimi. We are trying to introduce a new exhibition for the brain this year. It's coming from the United States. It's uh, it's focusing more on how the function of the brain and how the brain is functioning for the children so they can understand how the functionality of the brain is going on. Uh, there is a lot of activities going on, a lot of competition is coming on. There is a city of the reading. Uh, city of uh, children existing there, there is a Lego. The involvement of the family is the most important role in developing the child. Uh, what we are trying to, to do here is to introduce new method and uh, f uh, ways of introducing uh, how we can teach, how we can uh, make the child interactive with us. See, there's a new uh, new technology now, we are in a new era of technology and this new era is uh, putting on us a big challenge how we can achieve our goal through what we are introducing through what we can uh, showcase our child uh, the, uh, like the now we are having the launch of the Smurf uh, show this year it will be there so it's something new that we are introducing this year with the new Smurf movies coming so it's going to be an event that everyone will be looking forward to see and to enjoy and finally, looking to other news, the region's biggest consumer electronics show is back again for its spring edition with a host of discounts on offer to entice visitors, 
looking for gift items and latest gadgets ahead of the summer holidays. Running until the 1st of April, the four-day event is expected to attract over 100,000 visitors who will be looking to catch the latest deals and offers on electronics such as mobile phones, tablets, laptops, cameras and other accessories. The Popular Expo officially opened its doors this morning with hundreds of interested buyers pouring in and once again the smartphones gained much of the attention on the opening day. Tickets to the event cost 20 dirhams per head, which includes raffle coupons and scratch and win cards. Deals on iPhone 7 and the Samsung Galaxy series were the most sought after. However, the laptops too gained a particular interest during this edition. Popular retailers such as Jackie's Electronics, Sharaf DG and Emacs have played, placed a number of bundle offers. However, there is a growing trend of offering increased after-sales service this year, such as 24-month installment plans with partner banks. While Emacs in particular is offering their consumers who spend over 5,000 dirhams a chance to try the luck with spinning the wheel and stand a chance to win an iPhone 7. According to the representatives from Emacs, smartphones will continue to be the most popular gadgets for the next few years, particularly as Samsung aims to launch the Galaxy S8 next month. So we are offering him various services like we have 24 months installment scheme this year. We have the exchange program for summer because summer is approaching. So we have brought in special exchange program for our refrigerators and air conditioners. We have the swap program for mobiles, which is again an, a guaranteed buyback program for mobiles because people in, in the Middle East tend to change their mobiles with every new launch. So keeping in mind, we have, we have brought this special program in UAE, which is called a swap, where we give a guaranteed return. At the, at the time of exchange on the, on, the, on the new launch. Apart from that, we have a magic box program, which is, again, a people buying above a certain uh, amount get a chance to win a surprise gift. So this time, our, our motto is not only just giving the freebies at the time of purchase, but once the purchase is made, we want to wow the customer with our freebies and with our, uh, with our services. The gaming world is another area of focus during this year's Gitex Shopper, particularly with Dell launching their latest Inspiron laptops with features similar to their powerful Alienware gaming laptops. Despite the popularity of gaming apps on smartphones, representatives from Dell have said that the region continues to have a large interest in high-performance PC gaming, which includes better graphics as well as VR capabilities. If you look at the gaming notebooks now, so the gaming notebooks start at a price point of close to about 4,000, 4,200 dirhams and go all the way up to 24,000 dirhams with the, with the beast that we have, the Area 51 here. Now, obviously, when we talk about PC gaming, it's also for PC enthusiasts, gaming enthusiasts who are looking at that additional experience, that immersive experience. And with, the, uh, with VR coming into the picture and all the Alienware also are uh, you know, compatible with VR, that gives you a very immersive gaming experience, which obviously you will not get on a, on a mobile PC or a, on a mobile itself. You have a lot of things packed inside it. So when we talk about Alienware, or in, even if we talk about the Inspiron range, so you've got the latest generation of I, uh, Core, Intel Core processors. You've got graphics, which is the latest 10 series graphics. Now, it all comes down to the graphics performance also. So with that graphics, it gives you a much better experience than you know what you will feel on any other device. So that's what it gives you. On top of that, you get you get a lot of cooling uh, on, on our machine. So basically, when you're doing a lot of hardcore gaming, and when we're talking about gaming, we're talking about gaming enthusiasts who are gaming 14, 15, 16 hours a day. You need good cooling also with it. So that's why these machines come with liquid cooling. We've got dual fans on our machines. So that, that way, you get a very cool experience when you're gaming also.